it doesn't matter how long you are on the path uh, to, to heaven, there are always things that God reveals that you have, have not seen before. And so this is about marrow of the word. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5 through 8, I think all of us are acquainted with trust in the Lord with all your heart. You repeat it after me. And in, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Well, that's interesting. Uh, as I began to contemplate this marrow to thy bones, I thought, well, let me do a little research on bone marrow. And so how important is bone marrow? Well, bone marrow makes a component of, uh, whoops, it makes a component of all that we uh, need in order to be healthy. Uh, it, 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 let me go to it, there it is. And let me see if I can move this thing out of the way so I can see my screen. Uh, there we are, okay. And so it says, uh, Bone marrow makes the components of your blood that you need to survive. Bone marrow produces red blood cells that carry oxygen, white blood cells that prevent infection, and platelets that control bleeding. The absence of bone marrow can be fatal since it's an essential part of your body. So I uh, went into the uh, website, I mean, into uh, the internet, to do some more research on this. So the bone marrow produces blood cells. Uh, but my thought was, how does the blood cells, how do they get out of the bone since the bone is solid and into the blood system? So uh, recent research, this is very recent, uh, 2019. Uh, it says that a chemical that makes bones transparent enables scientists to view the structures inside them and the younger researcher, Annika Grunbun, discovered the so-called transcortical vessels, which was something that was not known before. And these, uh, they connect the blood supply of the bone marrow with the periosteum. And uh, the, the interesting thing about it is that if you see the, the actual uh, picture, the microscopic vessels that actually allow the blood cells, uh, white cells and platelets to go through the bone um, and come out into the blood system and feed uh, what we now know as the, the circulatory system that produces, uh, brings oxygen and especially the white blood cells that actually fight against whatever diseases uh, you may uh, have to deal with. So it is vital to have good, healthy bone marrow. And so what's interesting is that in the Bible, it connects the health of the bone marrow to the trust in God. And uh, I was on a plane recently going to Ukraine, sneaking in there and came back out. And the doctor sat next to me, turned out to be a, 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 uh, dermatologist and as we talked I began to share this information with her and she was surprised being a doctor and so I then connected the spiritual with the with the actual uh, information of, of the modern or the, should I say the most recent research on the bone marrow and it says all of your bones are covered by the periosteum it supplies them the blood they need and helps them grow and heal if you damage or injure a bone, the periosteum is what will repair the damage and regrow your bone, uh, your bone as you recover. So not only does it provide blood cells and not only does it provide uh, uh, oxygen, but it also allows for healing to take place. Even the bone is healed by the bone marrow itself. So it's an interesting uh, study. Uh, but because of the time, uh, it's uh, important then for the 
this faith or this trust to get into the bone marrow. So how does the trust uh, or faith get into the bone marrow? Well, it gets into the bone marrow by the word. So when you are reading the word, you're actually uh, bringing into your body that which brings health to your bone marrow, which in turn brings health to your whole body. And so your wellness depends not only on what you eat and your exercise, but on your faith. Your trust in God brings health to the bone marrow. It's interesting. And I thought that was exciting. And so it says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of, of soul and spirit, and of the joints and what? And marrow. And it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So the word then has to get into the body in order for it to do that which brings health to the bone marrow. So your trust in God through the word brings health to your body. Not just physical, but spiritual well-being. Notice uh, why the word is so important. The word should I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, John 6, 63. And he that hears my word and believeth on him that sent me hath what? Everlasting life. So the word is essential for your, for your life here and essential for your life beyond. So the, what the work that we're doing in, in bringing people faith actually is bringing people not just health for this life, but health for the eternal life that they uh, so much need. Notice what Mrs. White says, Christ Object Lessons. In every command and in every promise of the Word of God is the power, the very life of God, by which a command may be fulfilled and the promise realized. He who by faith receives the Word is receiving the very life and character of God. So what you, when you are delivering books and has the Word of God in it, what you're doing is you're pouring into that mind and into that body that which brings health to the marrow and health to the soul. So how essential is it for us to share the Word? Obviously, when we share the Word, then people get the word through us sharing it. Uh, notice it says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And how shall they call upon him in whom shall they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. In other words, the, 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 the eternal life and the present life and wellness of it depends on our sharing that which pierces down to the bone marrow, which brings health to the mind, health to the body, and health to the spirit. <laughs> what a wonderful connection there is. And since what we hold in our hands when we read the Bible, we're not holding just a book or a, a a piece of plastic uh, in our cell phones or our iPads, we are actually holding that which has the very life of God. And so it is sacred, it is holy. Consequently, we ought to be careful where we put our Bibles when we put it down. I've noticed some people put stack things upon the Bible. No, we should be stacking the Bible upon the things because it is not just a book, it is sacred, holy, um, living words that bring into the individual faith. And so that's why it says, faith then come by what? Hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so as we uh, share, it brings faith to others through the word that in turn brings health to them and uh, as not only physical, but spiritual health. So, it is a universal principle that whenever one refuses to use his God-given powers, these powers decay and perish. Truth is not that is not lived 
that is not imparted loses its life-giving power, its healing virtue. So, wonderful good news. You not only are benefiting yourself and your bone marrow, you are benefiting others' bone marrow, which brings them health and healing, and most importantly, spiritual life. I praise God then for the opportunity that we have to place in every home that which can bring to people the Word of God that has power to change the life. And I would say amen to that.